Hello everybody, my name is Kendra and welcome back to another video of NHL 21 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. Now today, I don't exactly know what we're going to do. We're definitely going to finish the, the our first season and um, probably do the playoffs. I'm not entirely sure about that. I don't know if I want to look into maybe making a trade to upgrade our team because we are doing quite well. We are in the playoff uh contendership right now we uh, as of now we're making the playoffs but uh it's really tight between us and every other team so maybe if we want to make sure that we make it to the the Stanley Cup playoffs i guess maybe we want to make a trade or something our weakest link uh over here in our lineups is definitely Cini. so the left wing is our weak link right now so we might want to upgrade the weak link the right wing maybe or the de the, f the defense you never know right the defense but uh, one thing that is for sure with these games uh, franchise mode in particular is you need all the help you can get in in front of the net when it comes down to the playoffs themselves you need offense so here's what I'm thinking we're going to take a look uh, really quick. we're going to go into proposed trade we're going to see what every single team wants to sell right what are they pl the players that they do want to sell and uh is there anybody in particular that seems like very interesting or something like that right really someone interesting that i could get uh, not a defenseman i'm looking for a forward so uh we're looking for a forward here that's 78 overall no i'm looking for a forward that literally is for the nhl so we're gonna take a look so far nothing in particular is a bunch of defensemen everywhere i don't see anything uh of particularity right here nope as, 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 once again it's just a bunch of defensemen they want to get rid of so not interested in that i i want to get so far so far nothing no fu nothing so far boys all right interesting we might go to uh, the trade deadline we might have to go to the trade deadline in order to make something happen boy so yeah there's nothing they d nobody wants to trade anybody nobody wants to get rid of anybody really uh so far so here's my thinking i think uh what i'm just gonna end up doing i guess is we're gonna continue the simulation for now and we're gonna wait until the try trade deadline itself in order to make an actual move you know and it's going to allow us to actually take a look properly at the trade deadline new screens and everything so two four six eight and ten i believe so all the way up to the next month against the montreal canadians uh ty smith is back in there let me see really quick is he a good player who's ty smith by the way we gotta uh, make sure that he's an important defenseman yeah he's a top four top four d man so he is quite important who do we replace him with all right so hl team much better looking now at least in terms of prospects i'm playing the best prospects i think i i forgot about doing the ahl squad uh last time so at least it's done now <laughs> a bit too late for that in the middle of the season but at least it's done boys at some point it had to be done how are they doing, by the way? But how is Bachfist doing? Oh, Bachfist doing actually really good with Anderson and uh, Koa Cannon, boys. So that's good for them, I guess. I'm playing the best prospects up up there in terms of lineup. That's usually how I do it. So that's uh that's really cool. All right, so we're back in there for the simulation. Connor Carrick is back. What, he was injured. Oh, I forgot about the injuries, boys. Hold on so no he wasn't okay maybe that was a le minor injury i think yeah yeah it was a minor injury yeah he was already injured so two losses right here to begin with three losses in a row uh two out of those three losses or four losses right there are in shootout and overtime so all right i guess uh we're starting to play bad right now i don't know what's going on i don't know why oh boy yeah we definitely need a trade or something we are losing, but at least we lost a couple of games, like three games in overtime shootout. So we're getting points out of these uh, games that we're losing right now. But still, it hurts. It definitely hurts. We need a little bit more losses, uh, wins right here. There we go. There's another win. How many wins in a row? That's uh, three wins in a row. Okay, so 
it's not too bad but it's not good either let me see after the 10 games it's 4 3 and 3 uh definitely room for improvement jack hughes is our best player right now 40 points and 50 games played we are still in the playoff spot but that's probably only because we are in the weakest uh, division so we're just lucky to be in the weakest division right now in the east side so at least with that we're just lucky so um i we all may we can make mistakes we can afford that but still uh when's the draft uh, when when's the actual final day for the trade the trade deadline or it's coming up closer so the next after the next 10 games is going to be the trade deadline uh we're going to take a look at the teams maybe we, there's something we need to change because I did tweak some stuff up uh, once again. So we got to look into it, boys. So goals four per game. I want to look into that, please. So where are we? We're still one of the best scoring teams. So I'm going to keep, uh, keep it as it is. Uh, goals against. We're the best, one of the best teams as well. So we're not giving goals. It's perfect. I don't need to switch the strategies on that side. Use your Z-Devils. The power play is still struggling. I'm going to let it go for now because I don't know if it went up or down. Uh, I got to keep it in mind. It's 14.9. And we got the best uh, penalty, kick, penalty kill. So I'm thinking we're doing all right. We're doing decent. It's just after 50 games, we're kind of, you know, it's because we got a young team. We're not going to be able to always produce that well. How is Ishar, by the way? He's doing fantastic over there in the first line. He's doing, he's having a good time, but produce rise, right? Point wise, he's not really producing. He's a two way forward, boys. Yeah. So he's a two way forward. He would kind of need a sniper or something or a power forward to help him out. Uh, that's what's missing because he does have a playmaker. So it's kind of hurting them. There's nobody really scoring goals in that lineup. They're all just passing the puck, so that's kind of hurting them a little bit uh, offensive-wise. The On this part, though, they do have two playmakers and a sniper, so that's probably why they are having a good time. Yes, for Brat, Hughes, and Bobby Ryan, who is scoring the goals, obviously. 17 goals. Li I like to see that. Over here, they do have a power forward, so someone who can score the goals for them, Pavel uh, Zaka. Can score the goals even though they're struggling uh, uh they're, they don't like each other at all but uh yeah it seems to be working just fine for everyone uh zajac so we do have a sniper who can score the goals yeah as long as you got someone in the lineups that um can score a goal for you should be doing just fine these guys are doing uh all right uh connor carrick and Mueller do not like each other as always really that's just how it is usually and uh let's take a look actually i didn't take a look at uh longvist but longvist how is he doing he's going back up again boys so he's starting to produce a little bit better I, f I still think blackwood would be a best a better option right here uh what we're gonna end up doing is we're definitely gonna advance um, a day right we're gonna advance day like this and we're gonna switch between goalies again just to make sure connor uh, connor carrick has been injured we're gonna replace him He's the last defenseman, anyways. We did win a win. Uh, we didn't got. Uh, we did got a win against the Montreal Canadiens, which is good, very good for us. As long as we're getting wins, I don't care too much about it, about the production of our players. I I just want wins. So we're gonna go back into edit lines. I want to make sure that every time it's gonna be a long vis that gets in there. Yep, it is gonna be the case, boys. So. Advance the day for this one. This is the second game. Are we gonna win it? We do win it. All right So yeah, I'm gonna make that tactic a little bit uh, We're gonna see if that works out. All right, so I don't need to change anything uh, Really the only thing maybe that's the problem is the power play, but you know, there's only so much I can do in the power play itself uh, Let's see really quick. Is it uh, long this as well? We gotta make sure every time it's long this boys it is so a, a lot of set of games back to back right now so that's why we want to take a look at it properly we're gonna play replace the uh, the player i guess we got an injury in the minors that's a loss right there so we're gonna put a uh, blackwood in there okay uh first off i do need to look into the ahl 
it's gonna be a lot of micromanaging uh, by doing that but it's fine boys uh koa cannon did grow he did he just did grow i feel like so 77 now that's good for him um how about who got replaced ball straight uh brian straight i think is the one that replaced him yeah uh, he's the one that replaced him so now we're just gonna put we're gonna put tannins uh, in there and straight instead of being you yeah no that's fine that's fine you can replace him if you want and uh for us kind of Carrick is who, who's the replacement again it is uh cleason yeah cleason which is not a good replacement but it's fine i guess i don't really have a depth forward to replace the injured players boys so oh yeah i wanted to have black one in the net i forgot about that let's put him in boys hold on uh blackwood you're going in there long this already played a couple of games here it's time for your shot at uh, the net can you get a win for us you sure can so i'm gonna get you back in there you got a win for us that's fantastic and uh, yeah, I'm going to continue doing that, boys. As long as it's working out for us, I'm just continue. I'm going to continue to do that for sure. Oh, there's a 9 to 5 loss. Wow, that's a big time loss right there. Huge loss, boys. So where are we? We're at 55 games played. Yeah, it takes forever to when you do that, though. When you simulate that way, it takes just forever. I don't know, boys. I feel long. I feel like long. This is just the better option. Simulate again right here. If it works out, it works out. Uh, yeah, he, he did win a he won a game. He won a game for us, boys. I think uh, long. This is starting to get better. He's starting to play better, boys. Overall, so I'm just gonna continue to to uh, put him in there like that. I'm just gonna continue to play him. Uh, let's try it out again. Can he win a game for us? He sure can. All right, he's winning games. We're at 30, win, 30, 20, and 7 now. So way above 500. We're actually starting to produce. That's uh, fantastic. Uh, I like seeing that, boys. I like seeing that a lot. So we're giving us a, a nice little shot since we are the, in the weakest division. It's giving us a nice little shot for uh, the actual playoff, right? And maybe the, the division title as well. We'll have to see for that, though. All right, he's back in the uh, lineup. We lost the game against the Wild, so it looks like it's going to be Blackwood's opportunity to make his move right here. There's two more games remaining before we stop the simulation. So hold on. Blackwood, it's your chance now. Time to do your thing, buddy. All right, advance the day. It's very slow when we do it like that, but that's fine. Oh, that's another loss. All right, no, I'm gonna make full. I'm gonna go full confidence on long fist. I guess I'm not gonna focus too much here because otherwise it's gonna take really forever, and I don't have that time, boys. So let's see. Actually, I really want to make sure that we not we do not get past the trade deadline right here. We're getting really close, yeah. So let's just simulate that uh, last game against the Pittsburgh Penguins. And that's going to be an overtime loss. That's three losses in a row right there. I do not like to see that. So after 10 games, 5-4-1. and one. It's better than last time, or actually. It might be worse in some cases because we got less lo uh, less losses in overtime. We got less points out of that, uh, bonus points. But, uh, I mean, we got one more point. Uh, I don't know, boys. Uh, we got one more win, but still... So 68 points right now in our division, just two uh, two below, uh, two shy of below the Flyers. Yeah, I we're not gonna make it. Um, so we really want to make sure that we make it to the top three uh, teams in the Metropolitan Division because for the wildcard spot, I don't think we're gonna be uh, beat the Sabers, especially not the Lightning. So. It's going to be tough. I feel like we need to keep it like that for now. Uh, Jesper Bratt still at 49 uh, points, boys. 60 uh, games played. So he's the best player once again. Uh, how do we take a look at the trade deadline right now? How does it look? How does it work exactly? Browse the trade de trading block. Is that how it works? I'm not. Like, I don't know exactly how it works. That's not, okay, that's not it. There's probably an event or something 
uh, that pops up. I'm not sure, boys. Let's take a look um, at our stats, though, for the team. So let's see if it went uh, down at all. Let's see, boys. I'm uh, curious to see if we're getting better. We're kind of the same. So kind of the same offensive-wise, defensive-wise. We're actually going up. We're giving uh, a little bit more goals right now. But we're still the third best team defensively. Uh, power play is going down. So power play needs to be upgraded big time. It's not the, the right strategy for that. Penalty kill is still the best one. So we just got to switch the power play. All right, that's fine by me. That is way fine by me, boys. Let's switch the strategies up. I do want to look at the uh, lineups. See if anybody... Uh, guru or anything like that. I don't feel like it's the case. I feel like anybody is basically the same right here. What about uh, AHL? All right, so I did. I decided to put the strategy on overload. So let's hope that that works out for us. Uh, where are our scouts? Who's the best? Let's look a look at our draft class really quick for this year. Who's basically the number one? It's going to be Lafreniere, of course. So Lafreniere is up top. Hasn't been scouted yet. Oh, that's right. I don't think I'm scouting anybody. Who am I scouting? Oh, I am scouting people, but I don't think my co my coaches are really doing too much right now. I don't know what they're doing, actually. Let me take a look at them. What are they doing? Are they scouting anybody at all? Like, well, how's it going right here? I don't see you scouting anybody in particular, my guess. Let me see really quick. Uh, how's it going over here? Yeah, you're not really doing a good job at the scouting. I gotta do this manually and stuff like that. Come on now. It's kind of uh, stupid. Oh yeah, OHL skill set, uh, skill assessment. I'm sure I need to know that. I mean, come on now, I need the potential. Do we not have anybody in QNGHL? Yeah. Why are you not right now focusing on Lafreniere or what whatever, man? Let them do their thing, I guess. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter at all, boys. So, yes, per brat. Uh, I guess right now we're doing just fine. We're going to continue simulation really quick until the trade deadline itself. Travis Zajac got injured. We got to replace him. All right. He's in uh, the last place. So he's in the fourth line. So it's going to be easy to replace him with uh, Street. Street, you're going in there. We lost against the uh, Senators, the Ottawa Senators. Let's see if we can win against the New Jersey Rain, uh, the New Jersey, the New York Rangers. We lost. That's not good. All right. So yeah, there we go. There's the trade deadline, the pop up. So it's your pro scout. Before we head into the trade deadline, I wanted to see if you wanted to update your trade block. Uh, yes, we are not going to be a conservative seller. So that's what we were, boys. We were selling our stuff, selling old players. We are actually looking to buy stuff. Um, I'm going to be saying conservative buyer because I I want to get some players and stuff like that. I want to buy um, players. I want to get them into my team. So, yes, I definitely want to get conservative buyer. Enter the trade deadline. Let's do it, boys. Let's see what we got. Jonathan Tays available in the trade deadline. We got... Uh, so six minutes, you can see there's a time limit and everything. Uh, so Jonathan Taze is available right now, but that's a center. I don't think we need a center right now. Uh, he's 87 overall potential exact elite. I don't think we need that. You know what we need? We need, a we need a right wing or a left wing. That's perfect. We got one right there. Trade alert. Uh, Vegas Golden Knights just traded Conglin for Primo in exchange for Menta. So Menta just, the, the guy that we just wanted, just got traded, boys. All right, Vegas just got Menta. All right, so that's interesting. Uh, well, I kind of wanted him. I was going to go after him because he's uh, 85 overall. I, I'm looking for left wing here, uh, uh, left wings right here. How old is he? Trade alert again, the, the Ducks. Uh, Ryan Getzlav's going to Carolina in exchange for a couple of prospects. Okay. Uh, how about Jaden Schwartz, boys? I got to make this quick uh, trade deadline. People are moving up. Okay, so he's a top six, 85 overall, left wing uh, sniper. 
That would be perfect, actually. That would be perfect. Let me... My God. Can you not... Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. What's the trade alert? Pittsburgh Penguins. Joseph. All right. So another trade happened. I want to go after Jaden Schwartz. I'm going to try and get him. He's he got one year left. Let me try and go after him, boys. It's going to be a big trade right now. Big time trade. So first thing first, what we want to do um, is get somebody that we already have in the lineup or... Because right now we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We already have a surplus of people. I'm thinking we could probably, in exchange, like give them a prospect. And it's been accepted, boys. So two third round picks and Malsev for uh, Jaden Schwartz. Uh, off you go. All right, off you go. So we got Jaden Schwartz in our team now. Um, let's see if we can find a right wing. Uh, we already know Menta already went. He got traded. I don't want to go for people who already uh, got traded for. So let's see if we can't find any other players. Not really. We're still, uh, still in there. That's the top 10 players available right now. I want to see uh, the guys that are available. Okay, so there's all the guys that are available. Uh, let me see. Goalies, a bunch of goalies. Uh, looking for uh, right wing. Right wing, possibly. Uh, Connor Brown, 82 overall, uh, maybe something better. Let's see if we can't find anything better right now, boys. Anything better at all. Connor Brown, looks like he might be the best option. We got Jespers fast, nope, not too good. I'm looking for good uh, good players right here. Like three prospects and Birchie basically for Connor Brown. Let's see if that's going to work. It does, it did work. Um, I wonder if I... Uh, like gave them less would have uh, would they have accepted boys i wonder i truly wonder if they would have accepted that so uh they accepted that trade offer so now if we take a look we could we got connor brown 82 overall 27 years of age boys doesn't cost anything doesn't matter one year deal right a one year deal we're gonna have to re-sign him uh we also have our left wing in where is he at? Uh, Jajen Schwartz. Much better, boys. So we got the uh, two things we wanted. The lineups are done, boys. Let me show it to you really quick. So the new lineups as it is, as it looks. Jaden Schwartz is going to be playing with uh, on the first line with Jack Hughes and Palmieri. Decided to put Jack Hughes up there in the first line instead of the second line because he was producing like crazy. I want to give him a bit more chance since... And plus, he's a high elite compared to Ishar, who's a medium elite. So, we're going to downgrade uh, Ishar. He was not having as good of a season as I would hope him to have, even though he was pretty decent. want him to have a better season. So, uh, let him prove himself in the second line with uh, Gusev and uh, Connor Brown, boys, our newly addition to the team. And we're going to have Bobby Ryan, Zaka, and Jesper Bratt. Miles Wood. Uh, Street, which is a replacement for, um, I think, Zajac, who's injured right now. Yep. So it would normally be Wood, uh, Zajac, and Grabner. Right now in defense, it basically stays the same. Uh, no change-ups in the defensive uh, part of things. And over here, I do need to switch things up. So Merkley and Sini, I both need to get them in there. Instead, Yeah, Sini's a top nine. And Merkley is a top uh, is a top six, so I definitely got space for uh, somebody like that for Merkley for sure. So Merkley, you're gonna go ahead and get uh, put right below, uh, right like that. You're gonna get there, and yeah, you're definitely going in the first line, Merkley. And what about you? T bottom six? Nope. Get Cini in there instead, and that's much better already. So, uh, yeah, we got that instead of you. And the rest is a bunch of top sixes. So we're going to keep that as it is. All right, that's perfect, boys. So I'm ready to go. Ready to continue the simulation now. Let's see if it's going to help us out. The two new additions to our team last second in the trade deadline. I hope so. I really hope so that it helps us out. Because uh, we're going to need all the help we can get. I want to make it to the playoffs, boys. So it would be fun if we could just do that. Uh, did we simulate already two games? Are we 62 games? We are 62 games. Okay. So it's eight more games I got to simulate. So two, 
uh, four, six, and eight, all the way to the Edmonton Oilers game, boys. Let's hope that we get a win. That's a third loss in a row, but in overtime, another loss, fourth time, uh, fourth loss in a row. That's not good. Zay Jack, get back in here quick. I think we're gonna need your help, buddy. God damn. Don't think it's gonna do too much of a difference here, but at least he's gonna be there, boys. So here we go. Let's hope for the best right here. Oh, another loss. Another loss. All right. We're not making the playoffs. I think the trades made it worse. I don't know why, boys. The trade made it worse. Fuck. Uh, Edge coach replaced players. I don't care about the minors. Just want a simulation to be done, uh, done and done with. There's finally two wins. Finally, we got two wins. Our first two wins of the, 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 uh, the simulation right here. Josh Jacobs, you're back. Uh, let me see really quick. So who are you? Who are you, Josh Jacobs? You're a defenseman. Let me put ba you back in there. God damn. All right. He's back in there, boys, in the lineups. All right. Let's just go ahead and simulate the rest. That's a big ice. That's like two and uh, eight, I believe. Fuck. Oh, that's two, six, and two. Wow. That's horrible. We went from third team, boys, in our division to six team. Ah, that's terrible. We still have a chance. We, uh, we can still come ba bounce back up if we get a really good, decent uh, final uh, 12 game, but we screwed it up big time. I just screwed my team. What the fuck happened there? What just happened, boys? I don't get it. I really don't get it right there. How did that happen? How did that manage to happen? Uh, Jack Hughes is, seems like he's producing. Let me take a look at my team, uh, team players. Do I have the wrong strategies now because I switched the players around? It's not the same strategies, probably. Is that what's going on right here? Uh, these guys are doing fine. Uh, yeah, they're doing great together. Gusev, the second line's not working. Second line's not working at all, boys. So I got to switch that one up. Uh, Isha is doing great right now. Uh, third line, as always, still strong. Actually, the third line's doing all right i'm not sure still uh fourth line is doing good we're gonna take a look at the team stats i went ahead and changed the strategies for the second line to behind the net instead of overload maybe that's gonna be better i i sure hope so boys i sure hope so uh, so goals four per game uh, we went down to, uh, a little bit right there so now fourth best team instead of third best team and goals against we're going up so we're starting to give up a little bit more goals here uh, you can see the pattern right here boys developing power play wise second worst team power play I don't know what to do with the power play just don't know boys penalty kill is still the best I just don't know what to do with the power play um, maybe so I don't either I just don't know I just don't know the power play is so hard to figure out in this game it's ridiculous so I think power play i guess we're gonna go back into umbrella i feel like umbrella is a good thing uh, and uh we're gonna keep it a uh, single swing umbrella we're gonna keep it like that boys let's try a new strategy boys i switched everything up i put everyone on overload and also i went for defend the lead instead of attacking and also i went for eye pressure and defensive side of things so we're just gonna go all berserk on them i don't care anymore all right, I'm just putting the strategies that I think would work the best. My strategies, at least. We got a shootout loss. At least it's a shootout loss. We got a point out of that, which put uh, puts us where exactly? 65 points. I We need to win games. We need to win games, boys. We need points. Come on now. There we go. There's a win. There's a goddamn win. Where are we at? 77? Well, that's going to be tight, boys. Uh, we just got to... Oh, no. Not, now we're not making the playoffs. Like we keep losing like that, it's just not ha it's not happening, boys. Uh, we're not gonna uh, be winning anything if we keep losing. So Cleason, get the fuck out of here, because first off, uh, we need we need somebody better. Wait a minute. Okay, scratch. Ca no, Ca Connor Carrick is still uh, injured. So it, uh, on top of that, it was Mueller. Okay, so it was the other one that was injured as well. Uh, there's another fucking loss. That's just great, boys. We're having a fantastic day today. What a simulation. I'm just getting super lucky, ain't I? 
Like we were just starting to do just fine and then all of a sudden the system does decide to shit us in the bed completely. And now we can't do shit anymore. Like uh, we're completely trash. Yep. Complete utter, utter trash. That's what we are. We were doing great as well. We were in the playoff spot and look at that. We just blew it. Completely blew it boys. So already uh, Canadians made it to the wildcard spot. Uh, looks like the Blue Jackets are going to make it. So we're out of the playoffs, boys. We're already out. It's over. Uh, no point in uh, looking at anything. Yeah, the shootout last, whatever. Uh, complete disaster of a first season. We started pretty well, but all of a sudden, I don't know why, everything started, everything went, happened badly. As soon as they decided to make the trades, I don't know. We just shot the bed, boys. Maybe I made the wrong move. I don't know why. I, I thought I had the wrong, right move right here by adding some veterans in Schwartz, in Connor Brown, helping us out, upgrading the team. It looks like it didn't help us at all. It looks like it hurt us or something. I don't know. I don't understand this game. I'm never gonna get it. I don't understand the. I, I just don't get the the whole chemistry thing. Chemistry is bullshit in this game. I don't want to work with it. You know, I don't want to spend three hours per video trying to look at chemistry for players. That's that's just not fun, boys. I'm just going to be honest with you. That's just not a fun thing to do. It, it isn't. The best play, best score uh, for our team is going to be a tie between Jesper uh, Bratt and Bobby Ryan. 24 goals. Uh, overall, my players did all right in terms of production of points. They could have done better if I... Gave them a lot more to work with, I feel like. Uh, for example, Jack Hughes finished first best player of our team with a 64 points. So pretty good season for him when you think about it. It's his second season in his career and much better than last year for sure. Uh, Jesper Bratt, a great season for him. 60 points, boys. I, I upped him up. Big time to uh, usually what he, the type of player he is. Uh, Gutsev, not a well. It's a, new, a good season point wise, plus minus horrible. Uh, Bobby Ryan, uh, good season out of him. Really great season actually. Uh, Palmieri, great season as always. Uh, disappointing season in my opinion for Isha. Even though it's it's his second, it's Disney's best season. It's on par with his very first season in terms of production of points. Uh, still, I'm 87 overall, medium elite. I would expect a lot more out of him. He kind of disappointed me here. And uh, for the rest, well, it's all part of the thing. Uh, Subin, gotta give up a little bit more. Subin, come on. You used to give up 50, like 60 points, stuff like that. Subin, he's disappointing, boys. He's disappointing me a little bit right here. Uh, Longvis did play bad in the begin at the beginning, but he started to come back up. So I think it's really the team in front of him that hurt him. Let's take a look at um, the stats overall in the NHL this year. And the best score is going to be Ovechkin. Ovechkin, obviously the best uh, score with 50 goals, 54 goals. 51 goals for me and McKinnon really great. I would love to have one of these guys That's for sure because at least they produce my team's not producing my team's trash Obviously, I took the devils makes sense But I, I really expected to make a comeback out of them. I was hoping to do it uh, We got a trash. We're in the trash division, but we missed it out anyways Shifley the best player 111 points uh, a good amount of points uh, taken by these all these guys right here. McDavid, Crosby, uh, Cal Connor, Orvat, Sagan, uh, Kuznetsov, Marcheso, Rentanen, Point, Kessel. All these players, right? Uh, Defense-wise, best... Oh, Quinn, Quinn Hughes, boys. 70 points. Holy shit. Now, that's a defenseman right there. That's a defenseman who produces quite a lot. Offensive defenseman. That's what we need in our team. Uh, no defensive defenseman. Just offensive and two-way defensemen for sure. That That is exactly what we need. Uh, you'll see all of these guys. Uh, basically, we got nobody uh, that's in our team. Goalie-wise, goalie with the be most amount of wins is Grabar. But I think the one who's going to win the Vezina Trophy is going to be Carter Art. Because he's got the most uh, saving percentage. 
compared to his wins and everything like that. And the rest is pretty much that. A rookie skaters, who's going to be the best rookie of the year? Kravtsov, or Kravtsov, I should say. There we go with 37, uh, 34 points. And that looks to be it uh, for us this year, boys. So um, I guess we're going to sim to draft. We don't have too much else to do. Uh, really, I'm really disappointed. I made a mistake, boys, probably going after veterans. Maybe I should have unloaded. But I thought for sure we had a choice. We were in there in the playoffs. Uh, the, the Lightning's going to win the cup. Just like uh, real life, boys. Just like in real life. Interesting. The same thing happened. All right. That's very interesting. At least it's realistic in that way. Uh, yeah, let's just hope that we get into draft. Uh, and we get a really good draft pick. We get a really good player. Let's see where we are. Wow, we are not far anywhere. We're actually, we dropped from 7 to 8. So we dropped. And uh, we're actually 8th place. So that's not good. Really not good. Anaheim went first. So they've got, uh, they're going to get Lafreniere, boys, uh, the Ducks. So that's interesting. Uh, we got eighth place. Uh, we can probably move up, maybe. I, I'm going to try move up, but I can't really, like, uh, pr promise anything. Zetterberg, he's in there, boys. Decided to retire after a year of doing nothing, basically. Gabarek decided to retire as well. Uh, Jokinen, right? All these players right here, they all retired. Uh, Defense-wise, Seabrook retired. We got Ain Ainsley Daly. I feel bad for the one who... Uh, did they uh, trade for him? Uh, yeah, he was in Ottawa. They decided to trade for him. And then he just basically... He said, uh, I'm out. That's, that's, bad, uh, that's a bad thing for uh, Washington right there. Let's take a look at us. Do we have any anyone in our team that decided to retire or anything? We don't. We don't have anybody on our team. So uh, we didn't lose anybody. Uh, the Devils, did we, did we lose anybody? I think it's the Heist Hogs uh, for us. So or uh, maybe. So maybe we lost somebody. I'm not sure. The Docs, whatever. Okay, so we got a couple of coach. Same thing as last year, basically. Uh, let's say okay to that. And we are into uh, get re getting ready to start a draft pick. We're going to do the draft today, boys. Uh, first things first. I need to look at the coaching staff. Coach is B overall. Wow. I thought he was a he was an A probably. So I think a coach goes down if you have a bad season or something. That's pretty bad. We need oh, we need an assistant coach for the AHL. Yeah, we don't have an assistant uh, assistant coach for the AHL, boys. That's or associate coach, I should say. That's pretty bad. Maybe we don't have the money for that. I well, do have a little bit of money as you can see right here yeah we got some space and all these scouts and everything okay uh let's go into the draft quick boys not too sure what i'm gonna go after here but uh eighth place is not too shabby it's a top 10 place but i don't know if i can move up that much boys maybe in the fifth place or something like that i can probably get top five we can try but uh i can't promise you anything boys so uh, we got a first round pick right here. Let's see if we can, uh, can't get anything else. Maybe, uh, do we have any rookie skaters that are, uh, we know we're not going to use? We don't have anybody. Uh, we can't move up. There's no, there's no moving up this year, boys. It's not happening. I'm not trading any players. So uh, we're, we're just going to wait it out. There we go. Let's just skip. We already know Lafrenia is going to Anaheim. Uh, Wong is going to uh, go to the Kings. We got Sh uh, Stuzel, interesting name, going to the Wild. Rally going to uh, New, uh, New York, the Rangers. They got screwed big time in this universe uh, by going to uh, fifth, I think, or something like that, or uh, or seven, whatever, boys. Uh, Lure, all right. Starting to drop already or something? Oh, right before we could have taken that guy. Sniper, medium elite, 81 overall. Oh, the Panthers drew, just got somebody big time, boys. They got that big time prospect right there. Wow. Congrats to them. All right. So Lucas Raymond Byfield. That's the, guy, the guys that uh, we know we could go after. 
We don't have too much right here. Hutchins is one of them. Uh, where is he? He expected to be drafted 15 overall. I think he might be a medium elite, boys, uh, for sure. I'm kind of tempted to go for him. Center, right? Another center, Raph Hutchins. Kind of tempted, boys. Uh, let's let's put a risk onto it. It says it might be like Jonathan Tate, so let's uh, let's put some risk into it and try and go after him. Medium top six. Damn, I wrong choice right here. Wrong choice. Yeah, wrong choice. Especially when uh, when I had Byfield, which is a center medium elite. I knew Byfield was an elite. It's not going well. This uh, GM mode is not going well at all, boys. I'm uh, making mistakes. I could have gotten these guys right here. This is not good. I made a mistake, boys. Oh, wow. Oh, look at all these elites. I could have had so many elites. I chose the one guy I wasn't an elite. Oh, my God. I'm a terrible GM right now. Terrible GM. What am I going to do with myself, boys? What about these guys? Oh man, nobody that's really interesting. We don't have any points on them, really. No scouts whatsoever on these guys, so I can't really even tell anything. That's bad, boys. I don't know what to, like I don't know who to go after here. The scouts didn't do, a, uh, they, they did a really bad job at scouting thing, uh, people up. So I, I just don't know. I don't know what to say. This is pretty bad, boys. Oh, we do have some low elites. I'm going to get the guaranteed low elites, boys. I'm not fucking around here. All right, guaranteed low elites. 50 overall, don't care. He's a guaranteed low elite for me. I'm taking him for sure. All right, so that's that. We're going to our fourth round pick again. Uh, let's see if we can't get uh, these low elites, these guarantees. There's another one that's almost there, but not all the way true. Like, I want to make sure that I do get some good draft picks, boys. I really want to get those good draft picks. They're telling me that uh, this guy could be it. Let me see maybe if I go for gem. Maybe if I uh, do the gem. Uh, there's no gems whatsoever. All right. Well, that's going to be fun. I really don't have any idea of who to go for right now, boys. No idea. Maybe Taras Tarasov guy. That Tarasov guy may be uh, a good one. Let's try and uh, see real quick. Ah, fringe starter. Garbage. Garbage, boys. I am not having a good time right now. Draft pick on top of everything. I think the way I'm going to move up my team is always going to be with the free agency drafts. It's not going to work out for me at all. Uh, let's see. Low elite. Is there anything? No, nothing at all. Nothing at all, boys. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, really. I'm going to try maybe get... This guy, uh, no, 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 he's 19 years of age. So these are the guys they're going to give us right here, ranking. He uh, got down. He basically stayed the same. So we're going to pick the ones that stay the same that they're telling us to go after. There we go, medium top six, boys, not too shabby. It's all right. It's an all right draft pick, I guess. And all right, so who's the, who's the next one? He went up, but only one. So I'm not too interested in that. I'm interested in somebody that went up by a lot or didn't go up at all. So yeah, oh maybe this. I don't know, boys. There's another medium top six. So I'm just gonna pick the guarantees. I'm gonna try and pick the guarantees right here. Make sure that uh, at least we got some players we know what to do, right? Good trading assets for the future and stuff like that. And I'm going to have to work a lot more into my scouting uh, stuff, boys, because otherwise it's never going to work. Allison, Austin Allison. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this guy, oof, he dropped a little bit, though. I don't know, boys. Let's take a look. Let's take a chance on him. I don't care too much, boys. Just taking chances here. We're just taking uh, guesses at this point. I don't really know who I'm going after. I don't know anything, really. Look at that. I guess another defenseman. No, let's take let's take this guy Carlson goalie. We don't know, right? Actually, Korolov. Maybe I, I'm gonna try. I'm just goalie. Any goalie whatsoever. Let's try to pick up a goalie, boys. Any goalies whatsoever that would be interesting. Uh, this guy went up quite a bit actually. Let's pick this guy, even though he's 20 years of age. Fringe starter, garbage. 
sim the entire draft boys uh that's not a good draft pick uh draft day not a good draft day at all uh i got unfortunately a top six medium top six forward instead of having i had the choice of having multiple uh, times a, a, a medium elite i chose something that wasn't that so pretty bad on my part boys that that's that's just my bad that's just my bad i gotta re-sign these guys it's going to contracts. This is going to be the last thing we're going to do. Uh, we're going to save free agency for the last uh, next video. Let's go ahead and do our thing. So centers to uh, looks like Ishia. Oh, yeah. Hughes is growing up fast. He's growing up fast, boys. So uh, we really don't want to play him in the first line for sure. He's, he's growing up. He's going to get even better. We got these two players to look forward to uh, having in our team. At least we got these two prospects. Uh, Zajac wants to come back, but he's a top nine exact, so I might want to keep him actually just as a depth forward, a depth player, right? I think I want to keep him as a depth, uh, depth uh, player. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep Zajac just as a depth uh, forward, four years, right? Uh, keep you for four years, buddy, at uh, 2.3. All right, so 2.3. Four years depth forward for us. We're gonna need uh, definitely. I don't think these guys are gonna grow, unless I'm mistaking. Um, Bachfist might grow actually. Did he get a he get he got a good season, so he might be growing. But uh, we're just gonna make sure just in case uh, something goes wrong. So I'm gonna put it in there in my stats. So centers, we need two centers for now. One two. Uh, and uh, we got nothing else three there's a third one right here i'm gonna get uh, rid of this guy garbage uh street we are not gonna need you anymore so get out of there uh we're not gonna need you and we are not uh, gonna need you either so we're gonna resign the cloud right here definitely we we'll resign you for three years or two years two, two years only boys and maximum amount of money. Maximum amount of money for two years. There we go for you. And that's pretty much it. We got our four players in here. So this is our first overall draft pick, boys. Uh, we better make good use of him because uh, we're really going to need him. Actually, he's really good. Look at his offensive awareness. That's fantastic. But the rest of it, I mean, we could have had a medium elite. But uh, that's another thing for another time, I guess. They all want to resign. At least there's that, boys. At least there's that. They all want to resign. Let me check uh, really quick. Uh, do we have anybody? Uh, Koakinen looks like he's, he keeps growing. He just keeps growing. So he might be ready for last uh, next year. So here's what I'm tempted to do, boys. Uh, since I think he might be ready for next year, I think I might have him. I might count him as a roster guy. So I'm going to go for one left winger we're going to need, definitely. Uh, this is a low one. He got a bad year. So I don't think Miles Woods is going to grow at all. I doubt it, boys. So left wing, we're going to need a one left wing for the team. Uh, let me go ahead. All right, so definitely we want to keep Schwartz. We just signed him. We, we traded for him, so we're going to keep him, obviously. Uh, we're going to get him for six years, boys. Big time deal, six years at 6.375 all right that's a huge deal for him uh we're gonna keep keep him forever in here uh jesper brat you had a great season for us we're keeping you buddy uh buddy and uh for eight years for sure we're keeping you for a big time deal six million eight years all right that's a great deal for us and we're gonna get uh, go ahead and do Gusev. Do we want to keep Gusev, boys? He is a playmaker. I need just more offensive players like him. He's a great offensive player. I'm gonna keep him, boys. I'm gonna keep him. Uh, five years. If I put him at seven years, that's gonna put yeah, at 35 years of age. So we're gonna do seven years, 5.6. I know these. Uh, this might look bad. The big the contracts and everything, but. I want them as long as possible in my team. We don't have any cap salary, uh, salary cap, boys, so it's fine. Uh, you are you're gonna get back in there, definitely. I want you for another two years, definitely. And that in that contract is it's a one year deal, anyways. Or oh, it's, if it's a one year deal, 
then uh, seven years buddy seven years at 2.8 now that's that doesn't cost us anything at all that's not gonna cost us anything boys that's perfect now we're going to right wingers we already have bobby ryan signed for another year so we got him he actually grew boys from 81 to 84 overall which is fantastic that's gonna help us out even further that's really gonna help us out that's fantastic for us i like seeing that veterans are growing uh palmieri he wants to come back uh connor brown uh we traded for him but it's not one to come back so we're just gonna release him i'm not gonna make it too much uh of a big deal don't care too much he didn't help us out make it to the playoff anyways we got grabner for a couple of years again uh, still sir another two years so that's fine so we got two players right now palmieri how did he do last year and what type of player is he? he's a two-way forward i don't want two-way forwards i don't have space for these type of guys so we're gonna keep it like it is right now merkley are you gonna be ready to play for next year i don't think he is so what i'm gonna end up doing i'm gonna count it as two players that we need for the right wing we need two right wingers boys and you're gonna play for the miners don't worry about it you're gonna play the miners my guy and uh i'm gonna sign you for seven year deal or six year deal because it's put you at 30 years or uh, 30 years of age six uh, years at 2.8 he's a uh this is a low price for him josh anderson is that it or joe anderson he had a fantastic season in the a uh ahl boys he might grow actually um into an 80 overall i don't know but he might do it so actually i'm going to count it as only run right winger that we need because i think he's going to be ready to play for us probably let's see really quick it's a one-year deal for him a one-way deal so let's get him for a seven uh seven year deal at 2.35 boys 2.350 that's another big time contract deal for us. So the defenseman has just been done. I just go, went ahead and re-signed a couple of guys and got rid of a lot of defensemen in the minors. Way too many players in the uh, rosters that we're gonna have, we're gonna got uh, rid of boys. So at least there's that for a lot of uh, space for us right now. Now it's time for the goalies. We uh, still got long fist for another year, boys. I wasn't ent entirely thrilled by uh, the way he played uh he could be a good backup for us i kind of want to see if we can get uh, a main goalie for uh for us next year we'll see how it develops i don't know about blackwood when uh, was he drafted second overall i mean blackwood did all right i guess uh, he did in most regards better than Longvis. but since we got Longvis already i kind of want to go for another goalie boys take my chances so I am going to get rid of Blackwood. I know that might be a bad thing for you guys, but I'm going to get rid of him. McIntyre as well, get uh, get out of here. And um, I guess we could uh, just re-sign Sean. Maybe just Sean. Yeah, 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 he did good. He did good. So I'm just going to re-sign him. Why not, boys? He deserves it. We're just going to re-sign minor deal. Uh, we're going to need a goalie. We need a lot of players this year. It's, you're going to see a big time difference between last year's roster and this year's roster. So we need a, a main goaltender, boys. Definitely a main goaltender that we're looking for. So that looks like it's going to be it. Let's uh, simulate really quick. Hopefully, we can get all of these uh, things done. So I'm happy to join the team. Fantastic. Happy to accept. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. All of this. Uh, renew 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 nobody's refusing so far boys everybody's accepting that's fantastic i believe everybody accepted my offers so i think we're good to go rosters i i don't think i can change i know i can't go for any coaches just yet i think i gotta do that during the free agency we're gonna see what type of players we got for uh the next video remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it i'll see you guys for the next video keep it easy